The Rainforest Express is a tourist attraction operated by Watercare, which provides Auckland water service. The narrow gauge line runs from Jacobson's Depot to the picnic site at Seaver Camp. The coaches are tiny, with a window on one side and open on the other. As we leave the depot, music and the commentary supplied by the driver starts. We soon enter the first of the ten tunnels on the line. This is the lower Nihutupu Dam and is the only point where there are views beyond the rainforest to the Manukau Harbour. This dam here, this is the first scientific controlled, rolled, filled, constructed dam in the southern hemisphere. It contains a concrete cut-off wall in the core of the dam. Then it has clays, clay silts, coarse silts. Now, we have Orua Bay and Big Bay. The pipe carrying the water to the Titarangi treatment plant runs to the right of the track. From small wooden dam. This section of the original cast iron pipe fractured with catastrophic effect. And so this is why we use tunnels. On all legs of the, trail. the Sir Edmund Hillary walking track crosses the line. The trail begins at the Arataki Vista Centre. From there, the walk ends at Miliwide Beach. And a height of one metre. Wages tunnel. This is still a working railway and is used to support pipeline maintenance. Some of the tunnels are lined with concrete, while others are bare rock. These provide an ideal home for wetters and glowworms. The onboard music provides a complement to the bush scenery as we ride by. Rangers began about 22 million years ago. The ranges you see now were the eastern slopes of a giant underwater volcano named Waitakere. There's one junction which provides access for road vehicles and the loading and unloading of ballast and equipment. Now another bush that might be of interest to you or tree is the uh, Hebe speciosa. Now uh, you can identify that plant there, it has slender leaves and the locomotive has just passed a group of them. They have slender leaves with white small flowers. At various points the driver draws our attention to plants and trees of particular interest and also to equipment on the pipeline. On and off when they needed to uh, fix any of the pipes here so they are intermittently throughout our network. Now I've slowed down our train here for um, a reason because we're just about to have a look at one of the most poisonous plants that we have here in the ranges, if not in New Zealand. Now this plant here, its name is the Tutu plant and it contains, a, it possesses a toxin a coincidentally known as Tutin. Now uh, farmers know this plant oh too well, uh, they try and remove their stock if they see any of this plant um, around their farm. And anything else that comes to their way in the wild. Now if we look to the open 
inside of our compartment and we look to the middle of that valley there, we can see a large tree. Now, where that large tree is, this is where our small wooden dam was located. Now, the small wooden dam used to supplement the reservoir at Western Springs. Okay, uh, three minutes, folks. Um, to, we have to stop here to uh, open the gate. Now, if there are any people who would like to take... The train stops for a few minutes at Quinn's Viaduct, providing time to take some photographs. 1,076 feet. The tunnel gates are normally kept locked to prevent walkers from accessing restricted areas. Now, a little bit of information about the construction workers. The men on the job slept in 8 by 10 foot tents with 4 foot walls and fly covers. There were 3 men to a tent where she cooked on a small shack lock wood fire range. Now, because of meals provided for visitors or officials for the supply of all meals. The final part of the journey is accomplished in reverse, as the train backs into Seaver Camp, which was used as a base during construction of the upper dam and the railway. We have arrived here at Seavers Camp. Perhaps I can give you three options here. Now, uh, we have three options. Our first is the easy walk. Our second option is the hard walk. And the third and final is no walk. So how do we do this? So the easy walk, uh, there is a the road there that... Just it's a short walk from Seaver Camp to the upper Nihotupu Dam. There are five dams in the Waitakere Ranges. Together, they supply about 26% of Auckland's water. The dams were built between 1907 and 1971 and are named after the streams which feed them. There's time for a stroll and to take some photographs before the walk back to Seaver Camp for the return journey.